what is lifestyle medicine? When I finished the medical school, I was so excited that I can go and start seeing a patient, healing patient. Now, while I was in medical school, of course, I was in contact with the patient, especially from fourth year as a medical student, but I never fully grasped the, the impact of non communicable diseases until my second year medical internship. Now, desperate for answers, um, I learned of American College of Lifestyle Medicine, which is specifically deals with uh, preventing, treating, and even reversing uh, these um, non-communicable diseases. So I went and certified, and that's why I'm so passionate about helping people on how to treat, prevent, even reverse this condition. In this short video, I'm going to highlight a little bit more on the impact of non-communicable disease or lifestyle-related diseases, and also introduce the lifestyle medicine as a solution uh, for these diseases. So let's go into it right now. I'm Dr. Mura Jesu, a certified lifestyle medicine physician co-founder of Dr. Mura Health. Dr. Mura Health specializes in giving evidence-based um, based health education and give you some practical tools on how to prevent, treat, and reverse diseases. So what is um, non-communicable disease? Non-communicable disease, um, also referred to as chronic disease, they are a medical condition, or it is a medical condition or a disease, which by definition is not non-infectious and cannot be passed from one person to person. Unlike like COVID-19 or tuberculosis, which are communicable diseases, these are diseases that cannot be passed from one person to another through communicable routes. Now, non-communicable disease may be chronic disease of long duration and slow progression, or they may result in more rapid death, uh, as, uh, for example, such as heart attack. According to the World Health Organization, non-communicable diseases kill for 1 million people each year, which is equivalent to 71% of all deaths globally. According to this, this new study, non-communicable disease accounted for 43% of total deaths in all ages and sexes in South Africa in 2012. While the probability of dying between the age of 30 to 70 due to non-communicable diseases was 27%. Now, the main types of non-communicable diseases that we often talk about are cardiovascular disease, such as heart attack and stroke, cancers, chronic respiratory diseases, such as chronic obstructive hormone disease and asthma, and diabetes. Just to note that there are modifiable uh, risks that contribute to this, like tobacco use, physical inactivity, unhealthy diets, and harmful use of uh, alcohol. All these contribute to non-communicable diseases. The solution to this, I believe, is since most of these diseases are brought by certain modifiable risks uh, or behaviors, if we apply lifestyle changes, uh, we can be able to reverse or to start preventing this, this condition. So what is lifestyle medicine? Now, lifestyle medicine, according to American College of Lifestyle Medicine, uh, is defined as, as a specialty that uses therapeutic lifestyle interventions as a primary modality to treat chronic conditions, including but not limited to cardiovascular diseases, type 2 diabetes, and obesity. Lifestyle medicine certified clinicians or physicians are trained to apply evidence-based whole person prescriptive lifestyle change to treat and when used intensively often reverse such conditions. Applying the six pillars of lifestyle medicine um, which are whole food pl uh, plant predominantly eaten, uh, eating pattern, physical activity, restorative sleep, stress management, avoidance of risky substances, and a positive social connection. Now, all these, these pillars of lifestyle medicine, they help you prevent, treat, and oftentimes even reverse this condition. Now, in our next video, we're going to unpack these pillars of lifestyle medicine, starting with the whole food plant-based eating, so you don't miss it. Thank you so much for watching. See you there.